Oh, sorry. Are you here to see which premium golf ball was longest? Yeah, sorry, I just gotta, gotta get the driver working in the right way. So I'm just sorting out the weights up here because I'm not swinging driver well at the moment, but I'm gonna be testing, I'm gonna be testing five premium golf balls off the driver to see which can give me the longest shot, okay? Um, I've just hit a Pro V1 and I got 319, I believe, out of that one on a previous video. So I'm going to be testing Vice Pro Plus, Shrixen, Z Star XV, Callaway, Chromesoft XLS, and Pro V1 X Left Dash. So come with me if you want to see which is the one that's going to be longest and most worthy of your pounds or dollars for all the Americans out there. Hi guys. So apologies if this ends up in anyone's garden, because like I said, I am not hitting driver well at the moment. Well, I've hit one straight. That's not too bad, is it? Oh. Oh, I'll just go home now. I'm done. Get the Vice Pro Plus. There we go, 315. Woohoo, he's off. Not bad, a bit pulley. A bit pulley. Oh, low spin. 315. We'll do, see if we can get one more. That was a good hit. We'll see if we can get one more hit. No, that wasn't a good one either. That wasn't bad. Turning over a bit. Okay, that was a really good one. There we go. So three, three, two, six. Three, two, six with the, the vice. I'm going to write that down so I don't forget. Next up, Callaway. Callaway. Let's hit a bomb with this, if at all possible. Oh, what's going on under the table? Oh, not bad. What was that? Oh, three, two, three, straight off. Okay. Do a couple more. Oh wow, I'm, I'm swinging now. Okay, not bad. Not bad, a bit low launch. One more. Toey, that's going to work. That's going to really work. Oh, wow. Okay. That was pretty good on the averages, that one. That was it. Okay. That's the Callaway Chromesoft XLS done. And that got a 326 on it. Oh, look at the ball speed. That had a 326 on it. Sorry, a 323. Uh, let's go with the Shrixen Z Star XV, which is the lowest spinning model of the Shrixen. Oh, that's dead straight. Bit spinny, I would say. Yeah, that was a real spinny, that one. Oh, I do hate overspinning a driver. Ooh, that went like a rocket. You can tell when it got like a rocket because it just zips back off there. Not bad. 
Okay, let's hit a real big one here. That was it. Bit spinny though, I'd say. At least I'm getting more spin now and it's not dying. Okay, let's try and get one where the face turns over slightly. That felt good. A better strike. Yeah, it's just a spin it a bit more, I'd say. Okay. That one was like 310, something like that. So that's not winning it. Right, lastly then, Callaway Pro V1X left dash. My favourite and the one that generally goes the longest, if I hit it well. So 326 to beat. Oh, it's so unbalanced that swing. Oh, <laughs> bad though, 310. Pulley, but that could go. Nope. Oh, oh we need to hit a good one here. Don't want to let the left dash down. Spinning again, isn't it? Oh, 325. Okay. So, guys, there you go. You can see the comparison there. Like I said, the Pro V1, I sent one 319 in a previous video. So, the longest one we had was the Vice. Look at these lovely post its. The Vice Pro Plus was 326. The Shrixen went 310. And the Chrome Soft XS went 323. Uh, but yeah, the left left dash and the, and the Vice Pro Plus, they were the ones that stood out with my erratic striking, shall we call it. Um, and it's quite significant how much they generally spun more consistently. Look at the, the standard deviation there. Generally, they're a bit better. Um, although I would say the Shrixen was, again, down to my striking. The left dash definitely gets faster ball speed. I know that. I've tested it enough. Um, but for the numbers there, when you've got 287 and 288, 308 and 307, they do stand out above the other ones. Now, the interesting thing, the Pro Plus, if you wait for deals on that, you can get them for about £30 a dozen. Whereas the left dash, it's never on offer. The best price I've ever been able to get them for is two boxes for, I think, £85, £90 maybe. They're very expensive. They're never on offer. They are a super premium ball. They used to just be out on tours. They've only recently come out. So although they give you a little bit more distance and a little less spin, and they still feel nice, for £45, is it worth it when you can get the Pro Plus at kind of £30 or even slightly less if you bulk buy? You can get it for less than that. So Pro Plus wins it, though. Pro Plus had the longest one there today. The only thing I'll say about the Pro Plus is they do scuff up a little more only slightly more than the Titleist, but they are, they're definitely, if you're looking for a premium ball at not such premium prices, Vice do very good golf balls and the Pro Plus is one of the best out there. Okay, but any of those are pretty good. The Callaway, you can get them on offer for about £30, sometimes less. The Shrix and Z Star XVs, they're extremely good value. And actually their ball speed on average was the second highest ball speed. It beat the others except for the left dash. Those, I've bought some of those uh, a couple of weeks back. I got them very cheap. I got them, what was it now? Uh, about £25 for a dozen. Um, so that's a really good deal. So if you like that video, leave, leave me a like. Think about it at least. And as always, consider subscribing because don't forget, if you do subscribe to this channel, you'll get more useful videos like this about golf balls, about how to spend your money and don't forget, for a limited time only, 
if you subscribe, you're guaranteed to get a hole in one. Check the small print. But at least not spend your money so badly and lower your score. Thanks for watching.